Hey guys, we're back and I thought what we'd talk about today is fire stop. We've been talking about wall framing for a while and I wanted to show you the details of how to install a uh, fire stop. It's relatively simple. Um, it's normally something that the insulation contract is, is part of, so you work hand in hand with those guys. But if you have a situation where you have a wall cavity like this, depending on the height of the wall cavity, you may have to add additional blocks in here as a framer to slow a fire down. So the main point of our fire safety stuff here is to try to contain the fire and slow it down as, as slow as we can get it. If a fire starts here in this electrical receptacle here, and we aren't quite finished with it, but if, if the wires got hot here and started a fire in this wall cavity, we would have it sealed off of insulation here here, all around the electrical wires where there's holes, we would have it sealed off with spray foam insulation all the way around there. They would also seal this with spray foam insulation across the bottom plate there, so that if it gets really hot on the inside of the house and a fire does start, we're not drawing the cold air in and, and fanning the fire. So they try to seal off every cavity as best they can before they put the bad insulation. And oftentimes we have to add additional fire blocks as well. So a fire stop can be made out of wood like this. So if a fire started here, it would travel up here, it would slow it down. It doesn't stop it. it just, obviously the wood would eventually catch on fire, but the fire would get slowed down in this particular spot. So it gives the people more time to get out of the house, all right? If it traveled through there, the double top plate would serve as an additional fire stop here before it traveled into the ceiling here. All right, so the idea, and that's why balloon frame, one of the main reasons why we moved from balloon frame walls. It used to be back in the 1920s, 30s, we would build the walls all the way from the first floor all the way to the roof. And then we would attach the floors to the walls. We don't do it that way because we later learned that if a fire starts down here, it quickly flies up the wall cavities into the roof system and then it burned the house down really fast in some of those older houses. So, so hence we changed the, you know, they changed, it's, it's a little more efficient this way and faster to build it platform frame but the double top plate serves as a major fire stop all right so the double top plate slows the fire down before it travels in the ceiling this is an additional fire stop and if you notice the fire stop these guys put in we snap a line across here one block on one side of the line one block on the other side of the line so that you can get good screws in it all right and this may be a job as a beginning carpenter uh, that you get all right installing fire stop and if you are installing it one of the main things that you have to learn is you want to measure your gap opening down here with a stud or fasten. You wouldn't measure it up here, even though that's where the block is, especially here where the wall has no sheathing, right? Because if this is wall is bowed out, this stud is bowed out, and you measure in between here up in the air, your block's going to be too wide. So you want to make sure when you're measuring for fire stock, you measure down here. And that's a good rule of thumb almost every time. You always measure where it's fastened. Don't measure out in the middle of the you know, these, these studs aren't going to be straight. And if you start getting one too long here, this one will be messed up. So you want to make sure that you're measuring. What I do when I cut fire stop is I'll, cut, I'll measure the gap. I'll write the number right there, measure the gap, write the number, measure the gap, write the number, get myself a list, go to my saw, cut all the blocks, come back and put them all in. Or I'll have somebody else cutting them for me if I'm, you know, I'm working with a team. But um, this is something that you put in quite a bit, all right? Um, and it's a, it's a code requirement, obviously, all right? Um, anyway, that's, that's some of the basics of fire stop. There's a lot more to it. Normally, the insulation contract that comes with a house uh, has that, like when you, when you contract your insulation out, they include the fire stop package in there and they understand all the fire stop rules. One of the other things I didn't mention, like say I had a plumbing pipe coming here, any of the gaps coming through the plumbing pipe would also get uh, spray foam, any hole. We're trying to basically, basically seal it up as best we can to keep the fire contained and, you know, burning as slow as we can. All right? Thanks, guys.